Hello, everybody. <clears throat> this week, we are going to do some fitness testing. And today, I want to show you how you can do the shuttle run. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know we've done this in class, but you can set this up at home. All you will need is uh, maybe on the sidewalk, you'll need 30 feet. So here's what you'll need to do. You have to measure out a starting point. Maybe you have some chalk and you can do that. Or if you don't have any chalk, just put something there that marks the starting line. And you'll need something to measure 30 feet. Okay. At the end of 30 feet, you're going to place two balls. And the way the test goes is somebody is going to go ahead and be your timer and they'll go ready, get set, go. Okay, and start timing you. And what you will do is, <clears throat> you're gonna go ahead and run, retrieve one ball, drop it when you get back to the line, get the other ball, and come back and run through the line. Okay, got it? And you can do it a number of times, in your best time when it counts. Okay, so, let me just tell you why we are doing this. Number one, it's a good activity that you can do at home. You don't need a whole lot of distance or uh, equipment. <clears throat> this is kind of like an old school way to measure phys physical fitness. It was done a mm, long time ago, not that long ago, about 20 years ago. And the reason why I want to do it and uh, maybe not do something that's more current is there are some really good standards and uh, research that was done at that time. So here's what this means, and I put up the chart. This means that, let's start here. This, if you achieve this time, it means that 50% of the kids were better than you, and 50% of the kids that did this weren't as good as you. If you achieve this little bit better mark, it means that 85, you were better than 85% of the kids who took the test, and thousands of kids took the test at that point. Okay, so this is something you can do every day. You can do it multiple times each day. And again, all you need is somebody to go ahead and, you know, monitor your time and to be fair about that and get an accurate reading on that. Okay, I think that's all you have to do. This is going to be a very short video. Okay, and go out and try it, and you're going to get better at it. And all you'll need is something that you can easily pick up. I don't care what it is. Something that, don't get something that's flat on the ground, something that extends on the ground a little bit so it's easier to grab. Okay, so go try it and tomorrow and the next uh, number of days. I'll give you some other physical fitness tests and some other standards that you can go ahead and compare yourself to, to other kids who did this around the country at that time, which was about, was about 20 years ago. But I don't think that fitness ability has changed that much. Okay, so this will be a good point of comparison. Okay, so I hope you can see this and see where you are in relationship to uh, your age and your gender. Okay, go try it.